Caution. Well, excuse me. That's the ham. Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and Reviews inside the kitchen and today I feel a bit sad a bit down because we're on the last two items of the serious pig trail we've been on for a while and I've really enjoyed all their products they've all been absolutely fantastic bar one which I mention every time when I do a serious pig video not the greatest uh, sausage crisps because they were suitable for vegans and vegetarians but today this one the first one we're going to do is definitely 100% not suitable for vegans well it better not be anyway so we have serious pig snacking ham Waha. Air dried ham from outdoor red British pork, classic flavour. So, snacking ham, it's not a village in Hampshire. It's tender slices of air dried British pork infused with a blend of garlic, caraway seeds, and just a hint of white pepper. Low carb British pork, high in protein. So, let's have a look at this, shall we? British pork 96%, salt dextrose, garlic, caraway seeds, white pepper, preserved sieve, sodium nitrate, and sodium nitrate. <clears throat> so, pretty few ingredients, best before. No, yeah, we're alright. Series pig official, we've been down this road that many times, we don't really need to go on. So, let's just crack this ham wide open. Oh. Do you know what? I love a ham sandwich with mustard. It's got to be English, well it hasn't got to be English mustard, but English mustard is the best thing on a ham sandwich. So we have, look at these, beautiful slices of air dried ham from outdoor red British pork. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. Oh my god. That is so, so tender and so tasty. A little bit salty, but I don't mind that. It's really good. Mmm. Oh nice. Just shovel it even got. You get a little hint of that garlic and then the caraway seeds kick in, which have got a very unique flavour, which you get straight away. White pepper also, you can taste People, if anyone says you can't tell the difference between white, pe black pe white and black pepper, I'm going to stick in my teeth now though. I'm totally lying because you can taste the flavour difference. Mm. This pack won't last long. In fact, it might last the next few minutes. But we'll have one more little slice. Look at that. Air dried cured ham. Amazing. That gets a flavour rating. It's got to be a 10. Got to be a 10. It's a shame the pack's this small. Because I could just sit here and munch and munch and munch all night on this.
because that caraway flavour and that little hint of garlic and white pepper is absolutely fantastic. Mm. Banging, absolutely banging. So, on to our last of the series pig. Trilogy, I'm calling it a trilogy because it's been about five episodes. But the last of the series pig box, I will definitely 100% be going back to series pig to order more stuff in the very near future. Which you're not going to see, unless they've brought out something new, then you will see it. But I'm enjoying it so much. So we have series pig, the humble peanut oven baked and seasoned with corny sea salt. Not so humble now. Very small packet of nuts. But I can live with that. We've literally got nuts about corny sea salt. We thought, what better way to celebrate the humble peanut than season it with the very best salt? This idea led us to the purest, most natural sea salt we could find. Enjoy. Ingredients. Two. Two ingredients in this bag. Peanuts and sea salt. Perfect. Caution. Excuse me. That's that ham. Small children can choke on nuts. We know. We don't give children nuts. Also, dogs can choke on nuts. So I probably won't be giving these to the dog either. Because there's not actually a lot in this bag. There's just a peanut smell. And very plain looking, very boring looking, but we'll see how they taste when I ram them very shortly into my mouth. So this is Series Pig Cornish Sea Salt Peanuts. Cheers. Mmm. As peanuts go, tasty nut. And you get a little bit of sea salt flavouring. But after trying that flavour explosion of the snack ham, these nuts are a bit of a come down. They're a nice little bag of nuts. Couple of beers, or one beer, bag of these, sat in front of the telly, happy days. But they lack a bit of flavour. Like I said, I don't know if it's I'm just so used to trying such flavoursome things from this company that a sea salt peanut just don't cut it after trying the potent cheeses, the, the snacking ham, the salamis and everything else that I've done from Series Pig. But anyway, that Series Pig box in total is well worth ordering 100% anything from them was pretty is, is pretty good not gonna lie all their products bar now two like I said the sausage crisps and then peanuts ain't bad don't worry, I'm gonna give them a flavour eight and six because I'm just above average for a normal peanut <coughs> excuse me I'm not a young child, but I am joking. Um, but I'm so, like I just said, I'm so used to a flavour explosion from all their products that that is a bit bland. Maybe they can improve it somehow, I don't know. Maybe if they watch this video, they might bring out another flavour of nuts, which will blow my mind. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they will do. So anyway, that was my review 
of the last two products from the series pig range that I bought. The series pig is sea salt peanuts. A peanut tasty, just above average. But this, the snacking ham, was absolutely banging, full of flavour, so tender, so tasty. Go and get yourself a bag of that because trust me, you will not be disappointed. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, don't forget the notification bell. Click all and you will get every single notification from me, Rob, of Rob's Homemade. So from me, Rob, and goodbye to the series pig. Till next time, if you bring out more products, thank you very much for watching. Peace.